What's going on hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vong and I got another smartphone stabilizer from Zuyun Tech. This is the Smooth Q and this is the one that I originally requested from them, but unfortunately they ran out of stock so they had to send me the Smooth 3. But this is the one that I've been curious about for three months now and I've been itching to get my hands on it because one, I trust Julian's products. I have the Crane and the Crane M, both of which works phenomenally for both my professional gigs and YouTube stuff. Two, this is a budget smartphone stabilizer that I think will interest a lot of people who are looking for an easy, simple solution to get some smooth footage with their phones. And for 140 bucks, this can't be beat. How different is this from the Smooth 3 that I unboxed a few weeks ago? We'll definitely do a quick comparison, but for now, let's get to unboxing. All right, right off the bat, they both have very similar packaging. Both of these gimbals came out around the same time. This one is of course aimed towards the more average consumer while the Smooth 3 is aimed towards the professionals. So let's take a look at this. Woo, love the clean packaging. All righty, right, woo, all right. Got a very similar violin case right here. Got the USB charger. Yep, USB charger. Uh, in the package also comes a little strap for your little smartphone carrying case. Sorry, I mean the gimbal carrying case. And of course, the instructions to help you get started. So this is from the Smooth 3, this is from the Smooth Cube, both in very similar sizes. All right, let's get to opening this. Woo! All right. And here it is, the Smooth Q. All right, let's take this out. All right, fuse lighter. So the Smooth Q is definitely not as robust as the Smooth 3. Uh, this one's a little bit more plastic while the other one is more aluminum. Again, this is more for the average consumer, but what I really love about the Smooth Q is that it comes in four different colors. And those colors are designed to match with the iPhone colors. So if you have a, a rose gold iPhone, you can get a rose gold Smooth Q. I have the iPhone matte black and this Smooth Q totally matches it. All right, let's get to balancing this. So again, balancing is very simple. You just have to adjust the horizontal axis until it's uh, leveled. There you go, that looks pretty good. Lock it down, and you just gotta power it on. And there you go, you're ready to roll. So connecting to the app is very simple. You just have to get the ZY Play app, and then navigate to Smooth Q, tap on the Bluetooth, and it'll be ready to roll. So what's amazing about the ZY Play app is that it gives you manual control over your smartphone's camera. So that means you can control the shutter speed, the ISO, and the white balance, which is super nice to have if your smartphone isn't making the best judgment in terms of exposure when you're out shooting. You can also activate the grid to help you frame the shot better, either with grid, grid and diagonal, or center point. You can also add filters while you're shooting video, but I think that only limits you to 720, and that's okay, I mean, I do all my color grading in post anyways. You can also calibrate how fast or how slow you want the tilt and the pan to be. And what I am super stoked about is that they also included the anti-shake mode with the Smooth Q. And if you guys watch my Smooth 3 video, the anti-shake mode definitely helps smooth out the footage a lot more. Woo! So you can also use the Smooth Q in portrait mode too. So let's try to balance this in portrait mode. And the idea is the same, you just need to adjust the horizontal axis until it's leveled. Now obviously we can't adjust this axis right here, but that's okay. And I'm glad there's only one axis to balance because if you try to balance steady cams or the uh, bigger models like the Crane or the Crane M, it's a little bit harder, it's a little bit more intricate, but the smartphones are designed to be very easy to use. And just like that, we're rolling in portrait mode. So the Smooth Q has a 12 hour battery life, which means your phone will die long before then. Luckily, they include a little USB port right here. That way you can charge your phone and still use the gimbal at the same time. That's freaking amazing. So as far as I'm concerned, I think the Smooth 3 is also capable of that, but they don't have a full size USB port, which is kind of cumbersome. Uh, I think you might have to like adapt a micro USB, a USB to micro USB adapter in order to use the charging. But the Smooth Q comes with a full size. You don't need to buy any sort of adapter. It just works right out of the box. And here's what I like to see. They also included the quarter 20 on the bottom of the gimbal. So if you want to mount it onto a tripod or a monopod or a mini tripod, you definitely can. 
So if you want to learn more about smartphone stabilizers by Zhiyun Tech, definitely check out my Smooth 3 First Impressions video. Both these gimbals, I believe, have very similar performance. There are, of course, a few features that differentiate them, and I'll definitely address that in the first impressions of the Smooth Q and the final review of the Smooth 3. So definitely stay subscribed to be notified when those videos drop. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.